Like many others, I was spoon-fed Christianity as a child by Republican parents with conservative views and hypocritical methods. I was not offered open-mindedness. I was not handed any platters. I was just given unexplained religion. You see, in my household, God was untouchable. So untouchable that we didn't even go to church on Sundays. And we just used God to explain what we couldn't in scientific knowledge. I was spoon-fed Christianity by Republican parents with conservative views and hypocritical methods. My brother, the first to touch and pursue this God, took me along and showed me that I was able to pick up my own spoon and eat at my own pace. But near to me know that this new established order of beliefs and religion in our lives will lead into our parents' lives and into our household and into their hypocritical methods. No longer was God an open privilege like breathing clean air or water filters in households, but it was a punishment and my parents could easily keep us from church, much like grounding. So it wasn't a surprise to me when my brother decided to press, profess that he was gay and turned away from religion because my parents played God, hid God, and forced God down the throats of their children. I soon began to realize that it wasn't just my parents, though, who used this oppression to keep a positive impression on religion, but my church as well, trying to use events, youth groups, and summer camps to keep us blind and justify the wrongdoings. You see, my church, too, tries to raise us on these conservative views and hypocritical methods, and while that may work for some, I remain uninterested, because I have lost my religion, and I replaced it with a relationship. The book that I carried that was so lost in translation was misplaced like a coin between the couch sheets of prayer and goodwill. I paced, I faced, um, I, I went to the face of steroidal hypocrisy and turned in my membership because I have lost my religion and I have replaced it with a relationship. Don't they practice these phrases like, um, that are painted among their walls, ones like love God, love others, and walk with nobodies, don't be the great somebody, but no, these are just phrases to them. I can't even begin to remember the last time my brother walked into our sanctuary in Christmas and, or Easter and wasn't given a look like he was a modern day leper. Don't they remember? Love God, love others. And the only couple who did give my brother that comforting smile and outstretched hands was later expelled for loving others and not just the clean, the vaccinated, and the uncontagious. My congregation doesn't remember that churches are supposed to be hospitals for the diseased and needy. They're constantly sanitizing and cleaning with chemicals that aren't bleach or alcohol, but hit a hip hypocritical behavior and narcissism. I remember the constant lessons and the stories of this Jesus man walking with sinners, prostitutes, and lepers. But if this story was held up to um, like a mirror, you would not see my church in the reflection. So I've decided not to walk with somebody's because I am um, because I am just a nobody. I am not clean. I am not vaccinated. I am not that man. I've lost my rela my religion, and if you find it, you can keep it because I've replaced it with a relationship. Give it up for Kayla, you guys! Spitting fire every time. Yeah, that's right.